क्वेश्चन नंबर 16 सेज दैट अ स्विमर कैपेबल ऑफ स्विमिंग विद वेलोसिटी 4 मीटर पर सेकंड रिलेटिव टू वाटर जंप्स इन रिवर फ्लोइंग विद वेलोसिटी 2 मीटर पर सेकंड द स्विमर स्विम्स डाउनस्ट्रीम कवरिंग अ डिस्टेंस 12 मीटर एंड रिटर्न्स टू द ओरिजिनल पोजीशन बाय स्विमिंग अपस्ट्रीम द टाइम टेकन इन कंप्लीट जर्नी इज नाउ डियर स्टूडेंट्स एज पर द क्वेश्चन अ स्विमर फर्स्ट मूव्स डाउनस्ट्रीम let us assume that the distance that the swimmer swims is d and then it comes upstream through the same distance in the downstream the velocity of the swimmer is u plus v where v is the velocity of the river current and u is the velocity of the swimmer with respect to water herein v has been given to us to be equal to 2 and u has been given to us to be equal to 4 upstream the velocity is u minus v which will be equal to 4 minus 2 that is 2 similarly the downstream velocity would be 4 plus 2 that is 6 the total distance that the swimmer covers either downstream or upstream is 12 meters therefore dear students the time should be 12 divided by the speed downstream that is 6 plus 12 divided by the speed upstream that should be 2 which will be equal to 2 plus 6 that is 8 seconds and hence the correct answer for this question should be option number 4 now let us proceed to the next question which is question number 17 question number 17 says that the velocity time graph of a particle moving in a straight line is shown in the figure The acceleration of the particle at t is equal to forty seconds. Is. Now, dear students, the acceleration of the particle can be written to be equal to slope of v t graph. Here we have to find the slope at t is equal to forty seconds. That is at this point. Now, since this is a straight line from t is equal to thirty-five till t is equal to sixty-five seconds, we can find out the slope of this complete line, and it will be equal to the slope at t is equal to forty seconds as well. Now, therefore, the slope is equal to zero minus sixty divided by sixty-five minus thirty-five. This should be equal to minus sixty divided by thirty, or Minus two meters per second square. Therefore, dear students, the correct answer for this question should be option number two. Now, let us proceed to question number eighteen. Question number eighteen says that the velocity of a body depends on time t according to the equation v is equal to ten plus two t square. The acceleration of the body is. first option independent of time t second option directly proportional to time t third option inversely proportional to time t or fourth option directly proportional to square of time t now dear students to find out the acceleration we have to find out the differentiation of velocity with respect to time herein it will be equal to 4t as we can see that the acceleration is proportional to time t and it is proportional to the linear power of time t which we can also say that the acceleration is directly proportional to t the correct answer therefore for this question should be option number 2 now let us proceed to the question number 19 question number 19 says that two trains each of length 100 meter are traveling in opposite direction with speed 15 meter per second and 25 meter per second the time taken for crossing is now dear students in this case the time of crossing can be written to be equal to l1 plus l2 divided by v relative where l1 and l2 are respective lengths of the trains and the or v relative is the relative speed between the trains here l1 and l2 are both 100 meters therefore l1 plus l2 is equal to 200 meters divided by relative speed which will be equal to 15 plus 25 this will be equal to 200 divided by 40 or 5 seconds therefore the correct answer for this question should be option number 3 now dear students let us proceed to the next question which is question number 
क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सेज दैट इफ द वेरिएशन ऑफ अ फिजिकल क्वांटिटी ए विथ टाइम इज एज शोन इन द फिगर देन ऑप्शन वन क्वांटिटी ए इज पोजिशन इफ मोशन इज यूनिफॉर्म ऑप्शन टू क्वांटिटी ए इज वेलोसिटी इफ मोशन इज यूनिफॉर्म ऑप्शन थ्री क्वांटिटी ए इज एक्सेलरेशन इफ मोशन इज यूनिफॉर्म और ऑप्शन फोर विच सीज दैट क्वांटिटी ए इज पोजिशन इफ मोशन इज यूनिफॉर्मली एक्सेलरेटेड नाउ डी स्टूडेंट्स when the when we say that the motion is uniform we mean that the acceleration is zero which also means that the velocity of the particle is constant now dear students let us analyze each option by itself the first option says that quantity a is position if motion is uniform now if quantity a is position we see that the position versus time graph would be a straight line and therefore the slope of position time graph which is velocity will be constant which means that the motion would be uniform therefore option number 1 seems to be correct let us analyze the further three options as well option 2 says that quantity a is velocity if motion is uniform now dear students if quantity a is velocity it means that the velocity would vary with respect to time therefore the velocity will not be constant and the motion cannot be said to be uniform therefore option 2 is incorrect similarly option 3 says that quantity a is acceleration if the motion is uniform now dear students if quantity a is acceleration that would mean that the acceleration is not only non zero but it also increases with time therefore if the acceleration is not zero we cannot say that the motion is uniform the option 3 is incorrect as well regarding option 4 which says that quantity a is position if motion is uniformly accelerated dear students if quantity a is position then its slope which is velocity will be constant as we have discussed for option number 1 and if the velocity is constant so the rate of change of velocity which is acceleration would be zero so option number 4 is incorrect as well the correct answer therefore is option number 1 now dear students let us proceed to question number 